everybody, this is Light Watkins, Daily Meditator, and the topic of today's video is happiness. <clears throat> you know, I talk about happiness a lot. It's good to look at happiness from a lot of different angles uh, because it's a very elusive feeling of happiness. And most of the time when we talk about uh, being happy, we, we equate it to some sort of experience or achievement or our happiness is predicated on having a certain uh, something or someone in our life and if that thing changes in any way then our happiness uh, can go away very fast and that's not that's not the most stable form of happiness that we can experience so <clears throat> somebody was asking me earlier today uh, how I benefited from meditation in these last 11 years I've been doing it every day and by by far the biggest benefit has been a sense of happiness that is not predicated on external circumstances being a certain way and because you know my life like anyone else's life has has financial ups and downs and you know relationships start and end and people get upset with me you know from time to time and I get upset with people from time to time and uh, the internal feeling though there's a sense of calmness there's a sense of connectedness that never was really there uh, to this degree before I started meditating and and that can be enough to make all the difference in you being in a relationship for three years too long or just being in a relationship for three months too long or for you staying at a job for five years longer than you should versus you staying at a job for a year so it doesn't mean that you're you're gonna be perfect okay nobody's perfect no situation is perfect but what it does mean is that you're gonna be able to cut down on the lag time significantly of you stretching something out far beyond its expiration date and we know when it happens because we tend to, you know, uh, experience a lot of strain and struggle in those relationships, business, personal, otherwise. And that's usually a strong indication that the expiration date is hit or it's passed and it's time to make a change. And and we, we, we have more confidence in making that change when we're not looking for happiness on the other side of that situation. So so that's that's been my experience. And you know, the more you, you, you do your inner work, uh, the more you start to see that more stable sense of happiness uh, begin to show up in those, in those, as you move through the external circumstances. And that, that's what really makes it uh, something that you want to be consistent with because you see the direct result of you going inside and you finding that true happiness where it truly resides, which is in your, in your in the depths of your inner consciousness. All right. That's the message today. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow.